Hello everyone, welcome to Self Love You. I am Jenna Ryan and I'm here today at an open house. And um, it's an open house and we are as a country in uh, a, an interesting situation, but we are practicing social distancing here at the open house today. And today I wanted to talk to my self lovies and I wanted to tell you that narcissists love drama. Narcissists love drama, don't they? How many of you can agree with me? Narcissists love drama. If they cannot get drama, they will create drama out of anything they can find. Any way that they can create drama in your life, then they are going to try to do it. It is up to us as, as humans, as, as people that are not gonna put up with that, to stay out of the drama, to not let the drama affect us, and to let the drama just be drama and not let it get into our hearts. They love drama. This is why the narcissist will cheat on you. This is why the narcissist will, will say things to insult you and hurt you, because what they want is they want you to be all up in arms. They want to affect affect you emotionally. They want to cause you to be either happy. They like to, when in the idolization phase, they want you happy, 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 happy. They love making you happy. It makes them feel powerful when they're able to control your emotions. And then they make you happy, happy, happy by doing everything you want. And then they get a kick, a sadistic adrenaline rush whenever they can let you down. And they love making you feel sad, 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 depressed, scared, fearful. Narcissists are all about the drama. They're gonna try to get you to feel a certain way. And it's up to you as a person who loves yourself and is aware that we live in a narcissist society. I'm telling you, in my work, I sell real estate. And most of the time, I have agents that I work with that are super cool, super sweet. We're all really um, helpful of one another and we try to help one another. But every once in a while, I will get a drama king or a drama queen. When I get a drama king or drama queen, it's like things that most people don't worry about, like stupid stuff, like little stuff that doesn't even matter they'll start nitpicking me about. And what they want is they, because I'm an agent, so they want me to go to my client and get my client all upset, and they want my client to be upset, and they start just causing drama that is extremely unnecessary. And they just meddle in it, muck in it, and that's why you have, you know, the, I call it the drama field. And then you have the flying monkeys, and, you know, they are so satisfied when they're able to cause you for a moment to think negatively about yourself, about your life, about your relationships, about your, your status, about whether you're gonna survive tomorrow. They love drama. And if there's no drama going on, you better believe that narcissist is gonna find a way to make you feel the drama. So it becomes necessary for us as people to take a set, take a step back and, and look with your higher self and see when someone is trying to engage you into a dramatic triangle, a dramatic emotional stance to just be dramatic and watch, it, it, you get used to and understand that tug. There's this little tug where they're trying to tug you into drama and they want you to feel the drama they want you to feel it. And, and, and when you're being pulled into the drama, it's important that you go, okay, and become aware. Wait a minute, they're trying to pull me into drama. And, and you kind of do what I call mini no contact. It's the same principle as no contact, but it's, it's where you just detach. You emotionally detach from the drama that they're trying to create. So you have to learn to detach. That's why in codependency circles and things, they always talk about detachment. You know, detach, you wanna detach from the drama. And you take a step back and say, hmm, um, 
and you don't meddle in it. You don't talk back. You walk away. You, you know, drama is not something that is useful or beneficial to your well being. It actually sucks the life out of you and it causes you to waste your energy on things that are not beneficial to you. And it causes you to get off your life's purpose and path. And it causes you to come out of a peaceful experience. And so you want to stay away from drama. And if there's absolute drama that you cannot help that you're in, like sometimes, you know, when I'm selling a house, I can't do anything about the fact that the other agent is dramatic and, and is trying to cause drama for me and my client. I cannot control that. I have to sell the house. They're representing their client and maybe they're, you know, they've, they've done, you know, they're being really super sweet to their client, but then causing drama for me. I have to treat, I have to deal with the drama. And when you have to deal with the drama, like if you're, if you're co-parenting with a narcissist, if you have a narcissist family member, then you have to get really good at emotionally detaching and seeing from a higher, your higher self, from a higher perspective, that this is simply drama. Someone is trying to get you to feel a certain way and no one can make you. You have the ability to detach and not allow things to affect you. You can stand back and stand up. You set boundaries or you simply detach. And when you detach, you begin to communicate, not in a way that causes more drama. Your goal is to eliminate all drama. So if they're trying to ask you dramatic things, you look at the, the, in, the instance and you find the least drama. Whatever will give you the least drama, whatever will resolve the situation with the least amount of drama is the way you wanna go. Because drama is, is um, costly. It costs a lot to be involved in drama. It costs a lot of emotional energy to waste on drama that is unnecessary. And it becomes very beneficial for you to be wise and notice, am I being pulled into unnecessary drama right now? Is this unnecessary? Is this necessary? Is this, you know, I'm feeling really un, uneasy right now. Is this necessary? And why am I feeling this? Is someone telling, is it, is it the news? Because the news, don't you know, they're narcissists. The news is, you know, all about drama. You know, all the, the royal family, drama, 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 all this drama. Is this something that is really, really affecting me right now? Is this something I really need to get all enraptured in and worried about and freak out about? Or is this something that I can detach from and focus on things that are more about myself, like love, peace, joy, my talents, my strengths, my, you know, physical body, my self-love, my well-being? Do I need to be upset? And a lot of times you have people that are friends, family, things like that, that will try to get you to feel the drama that, you know, the response to the drama, react to the drama. They try to get you to react to the drama and you just have to say, you know what? I don't have to do that. I don't have to be in the drama. I can go about my business as usual. The drama can fall down all around me and that's their drama. Now, nothing irritates the narcissist more than when you scale above the drama. They hate it. And that's what no contact is all about. It's about getting out of the drama field, getting out of the snake pit, not engaging, not reacting, but becoming very stone-faced. Stone-faced, giving very short, brief answers, very direct, standing away, changing your body language, changing your position, changing your interaction and engagement. People will do try to get you to feel the dramatic experience whatever way possible. If they can make you feel drama in your heart and make you feel frustrated by, by the silent treatment, then that will be what they use. 
There's hundreds of tools that they use to cause you to feel certain ways and to react and to overreact and to try to fix and just, they want to get you in this, this cycle in this huge, you know, I'm trying to see if anybody comes in the door, I'm doing an open house. Um, they want to get you all, you know, all freaked out and worried. The sky is falling and oh my God, that's what they want to do. They want to get you like that. And so you just have to take a step back and come into your higher self and listen to what your higher self is saying. Is this really a life or death situation? Is this really the end of the world? Do I really need to respond right away to this email? Do I really need to get involved in this conversation? Is there a way that I can just, you know, just give a stone face? Is there a way that I can just focus on myself? Is there something else I can focus on that's not dramatic? Is there a way I can solve this situation in the least dramatic way possible, in the least problem-causing way possible, in the least reactive way possible? Is there a way? And find that way. And when you find that way, you can rise above the drama. And that is where true peace lies. Have internal boundaries, boundaries within your own heart that say, I'm not tolerating drama in my life. And a real neutral, like, it doesn't have to be like, ah, just a very, you know what? No, I'm not going to go there. You're not going to get me. And you do not have to tell them that. Because if you tell someone, you're not going to pull me into drama, then that's drama. Telling someone, you're not going to pull me into drama, that is your, just got pulled into the drama. Not being pulled into the drama is literally sh detaching. Detaching. And, you know, just be like, oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And just like, mm, I'm not affected. Sorry. You can't have me. You can't have my emotions. And you can't have my peace. Okay. So thank you so much for listening today. This is Self Love You. I'm Jenna Ryan. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon.